Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck to let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and the symbols to watch for. This week we're using a brand new deck that we've never used before called a Princess of Light Oracle. It's a really beautiful deck. If you, it's by Sandra Ann Taylor and Kimberly Weber. So if you're listening to this on my podcast, you can go and see what the deck looks like on Instagram, YouTube, or my Facebook page. So Instagram is Carrie Muggs, Facebook page is Funky Spirit, and YouTube is just Carrie Muggs. So now on the back of each card is a beautiful moon through the woods, a full moon through the trees, and that's really beautiful. And each card is a princess or a priestess of light of some sort and very, very, very beautifully illustrated. So we're going to go ahead and pull the card. And then afterwards, I have a huge announcement to make that I'm really excited about. So here we go. Okay. Ooh, this one's a good one. Setting boundaries. This is a way good one. I love this one. Setting boundaries, threshold protection and honor. So sometimes we think boundaries are um, that they might hurt people. If you're, if you're if you're a people pleaser, then this is. I w- had a hard time setting boundaries because I thought that if I set boundaries, it would hurt people's feelings. Boundaries are there to protect you, and for some reason this week, you're going to need to set some boundaries. So I don't know if it's because it's a new year, new you, or if it's the same you and you're having issues with boundaries. But this week, you're going to need to set some boundaries, and this could be in your career, this could be in family, this could be in relationships. But here's the thing. The boundaries are there to protect you. It's not to keep people away from you. It's to protect your peace. It's to protect your spiritual growth. It's to protect the things that you've built. It's to protect you. And it's to help you grow. It's not to, it's to protect yourself. Like it's not to like hurt people's feelings. Cause I know when I protected, when I had to create boundaries, I was so afraid that I was gonna hurt people's feelings cause I'm, I was such a people pleaser. And so I'd be like, well, I have to get people in because I'm going to hurt their feelings if I don't. Or I have to do this because I'm going to hurt their feelings if I don't. And through counseling and spiritual growth, I've learned that those boundaries protect me. Because if I do those things and I don't protect myself, I end up getting sick, overwhelmed, and overburdened. And then I can't help anybody. So you need to create boundaries. And I know people get scared of boundaries. And I know that... um, People get nervous to create boundaries, but honestly, the only people that aren't going to like your boundaries are the people that use you, the people that create, that treat you like a walking mat. The people that aren't going to like your boundaries are the people that are being uncomfortable with your boundaries, are the people that need the boundaries the most. So if you create boundaries and you create boundaries for yourself and some people don't like it, that's their problem. That's their deal because you need to protect you. And that's what this is all about. Threshold of protection imaginary, imaginary fence around you that it's not keeping people away from you. It's just protecting you and your health and your peace and your spirituality. Because if you allow people to, to treat you bad or to, and you know, it's, I would say yes to them. So it was my fault. It wasn't theirs. But then I realized that I had to take care of me because, and it's not selfish. We think that creating boundaries is sometimes selfish and it's not. So when you protect, you need to create boundaries for your spiritual growth, not just your emotional health and your mental health, but for your spiritual growth, because you need that energy for you to grow. And it's not selfish. It's not. And I get it. If you're a mom of little kids, you can only create so many boundaries, right? But if you don't have little kids, you have adult kids or you have family members that you need to create boundaries for, then do it. And don't feel bad about it because you know what? You come first. You need to take care of you so you can take care of everybody else and so you can be authentic. And honestly, don't say thing, don't say yes to things or do things or let things go because you think you're going to be the bigger person or want to be the bigger person, a bigger person. You're doing it every time you do that. It's a it's a trauma. Well, now we're getting into like mental health stuff, but it's a trauma. It's a trauma um, reaction. So you need to really sit down this week because somebody's going to push your buttons or something's going to happen or you have already been pushed and you need to create some boundaries to protect you. Okay. 
So you just kind of decide what those boundaries are, what your spiritual boundaries are, what your mental boundaries are, what your physical boundaries are. You need to create that and you need to not, you need to do what you want, not do what other people want you to do. So setting boundaries and which is really awesome. So the numbers are 333, which are your ancestors and your guides are watching over you. They're going to help you do this. And just so you know, build, you can build boundaries for spirits. I, when I didn't know how to like do my gift and spirits were coming in all the time and I was like, this is crazy. I finally had to be like, no, I have certain hours that you can come through and bug me. This is, but when I was doing readings out of my house, they were like all over in all over my house. And I finally had to be like, I had to set some boundaries and say, you can only visit this room at this time. And so they had to accept those boundaries. And if spirits have to follow those boundaries, then people should follow those boundaries. Because like I said, spirits are just like people. There's good and there's bad, there's aggressive, there's, they're just, they're people. They just don't have a people form. So if you have to build boundaries for spirits too, do it. They, by universal law, they have to abide by them. Now, do I get some aggressive spirits that come through sometimes? Yes, but I always am like, this is not the time. And usually they're pretty, all the time, they're pretty good about it. <laughs> so build boundaries if you need to spiritually. So, and I even had, even have some clients that are like, that they have to build boundaries even with some of the spirits that come through. They're like, okay, I need a break right now. And that's okay. That's so okay. You need to do you, okay? And you can only do you so much. You need to save that energy to, to take care of you. So 333, which is your ancestors and your guides, and also 000, which is, you know, the universal, it's the divine, it's, it's God. It's God's watching you and with you. And so this is going to be an important one. This is important because the best way that you can connect to God and the best way you can connect to spirit is to be you, to be authentically you, to live in the moment and to be you. And so if you're putting on this facade, then you're not only fooling yourself, fooling others, but you're fooling yourself. So three and zero, the signs and the symbols are going to be, this is kind of a harder card, but anything with like hands. So she's holding her hands up and it's got like a, like an energy in there. So any type of like energy, like if you see a hand that has like energy or kind of hands like that, I guess that would count as a, but as a sign or a symbol, but let's not forget the tiger. Look at that tiger behind her. That tiger is protecting her. That tiger is watching over her. That tiger is her fence. That tiger is her boundary. So if you see any tigers this week, that's a sign, okay? And then any kind of like Egyptian jewelry. See how she has that Egyptian headdress on and that Egyptian type um, bracelets and necklace. So Egyptian jewelry, tiger, hand power, <laughs> <laughs> Those are all going to be setting boundaries. And I'm actually going to include a fence for this week too. This week's going to, be, so I'll put that. If you need to look at that card to watch the sign, to see the signs and symbols, you can go to my Instagram, my YouTube, or my, my Instagram and my Facebook has a picture of the card. So you can go there. Now, good luck with your boundaries this week, you guys. I'm proud of you and you can do it. You can do it. I, if I can do it, you can do it. I, I had to go to counseling to create these boundaries for Lots of times. My counselor's probably watching this going, yes, you did. So here you go. This, the, the big thing is Spunky Spirit is getting bigger. Spunky Spirit, I'm so blessed and I'm so honored. And it's just growing and it's growing bigger. And this year I want bigger things. I want to do events. I want to do group readings. I want to do classes, more in-person classes, not just online. I want to do more spirit circles. So I am moving. My office is moving. Still in Idaho Falls. But um, to a bigger facility. It's going to be on Broadway. Now, if you have readings this week, do not worry. If you have readings next week, you will get emails for the new address. So don't worry if you have readings scheduled. I will be reminding everybody of the new address for months to come because it's, it's a big deal. But there's going to be awesome things coming. There's going to be events coming. There's going to be community things coming. And this space is perfect for that. So I will reveal next week where it's at. But for right now, if you have any future readings, do not worry. You will know where the new place is if you need to. This week, I'm still going to be here in this beautiful place that I will miss so much. But big things are coming, you guys. And I love you so much. And I can't wait to share them with you because I owe it to you. So I'll see you guys next week.